triggers. Painful, usually, but are they harm? I have an interesting take on that that I'd like to share with you guys today. Triggers are not harm. <laughs> First of all, welcome back to another video. I'm Ann Blackwood, your Silicon Valley Sage Sister, here to bring consciousness to the forefront of your daily life to make life a little kinder and simpler. Now, recently I have come across this beautiful soul, Annika, and she has two videos about triggers that she's done. I would say that she is definitely um, well-versed in the way of triggers. And I saw her video on triggers versus harm and thought to myself, this is, this has got to be a video. <laughs> and part of why I wanted to do so was because I wanted to elaborate on the difference between triggers and harm, as well as the difference between pain and suffering. So first of all, what I really liked, what I, <laughs> What I really liked about Annika's video was that she had a really great metaphor when it comes to the difference between triggers and harm. Now, I'm gonna let her share with that, share with that. <laughs> what is, go I'm tired today, guys. Um, I'm gonna let her share that with you first from this clip, with this clip from her video. Wow. Um, and, and then we'll get into it a little bit more. And so this is my take on how triggers and harm are different. Um, so first of all, both of them hurt. Uh, both of them uh, are followed by a lot of pain. Um, but the difference is that harm causes fresh pain. So when I harm somebody, I cause them a fresh injury, whether it's a physical injury, a social injury, or a emotional, psychological, or spiritual injury, I somehow injure them in a way that they were not previously injured. So I cause fresh, not just hurt, but like fresh injury. And then the hurt and the pain is a result of that fresh injury. A trigger is the revealing or the being put in touch with an injury and the resulting pain of that injury that was already there. So the analogy that I use for myself is in the physical realm, um, if someone cuffs me like on the shoulder, uh, so say somebody does punch me harder um, and I do end up with a bruise. And then someone get, someone else comes, so that would be harm, right? And someone else comes along and they punch me in the exact same spot that I have a bruise. It's going to hurt a lot. So even if they like maybe bump into me or, or just like touch me lightly, like to get my attention and they're not, like it would ordinarily not cause any harm at all, but it triggers the pain of that injury. And so now I'm like, I'm hurting because that bruise was already there. And this, this non-harmful touch ended up triggering the pain that was stored inside of that old injury. And it re-triggered that pain. So like now I'm feeling it again. So you can start to understand the difference between triggers and harm from her metaphor. Getting a bruise is physical harm. You've been contacted so hard physically that it has created damage, new damage, as where someone later on could just lightly hug you and that could touch that bruise and trigger the pain from that wound. This is why I love that metaphor so much when it comes to emotional triggers. Because at the end of the day, someone can do something with a loving intention and trigger you. This is part of why I don't like the idea of intention not being considered 
when it comes to any given situation because there's been a lot of talk recently when it comes to people getting hurt by things and being able to claim that it is so-called violence when in fact the other person was doing something out of an innocent curiosity, out of a loving curiosity, for instance, and meant no harm. So not only is there the difference between an actual fresh wound and being triggered, whether you're speaking physically or emotionally, but there is a difference between pain and suffering because we can't always choose whether or not we experience pain, but we can choose whether or not we experience suffering. We also have to keep in mind that we cannot control what anybody else feels. We could have all the best of intentions in the world. We could do what we believe is loving and that could still have someone end up experiencing pain or suffering because that is up to them. Just like our choice of whether or not we suffer is up to us, them experiencing pain or suffering is up to them when it comes to what other people do, which is why understanding the difference between harm and triggers is so important because it is up to us how we decide to react to the pain that we experience. I was just talking in the comments of a Facebook post today about how important it is to actually do the long-term healing work. Because sure, we have little things like tapping that people can do or even taking a deep breath for moments in their life when they are interacting in a situation that's causing them upset. But you have to be able to remember to take a deep breath in order for it to, in the moment, actually work to calm you down. But if you've taken the proactive health care route that I love to talk about so much, where you actually heal the underlying emotional wounds that cause your triggers, the triggers won't be there. Just the other day, I was reflecting multiple times, actually over the last couple of days, at how I have noticed recently that there are things that used to make me feel very uncomfortable and very insecure about myself that now when I experience them, I will have a wholehearted belly laugh about them. And that's not just some coping mechanism. I genuinely enjoy it when it used to once make me uncomfortable. And at a minimum, maybe I'm not enjoying it, but it doesn't affect me. It always puts a smile on my face, even if it's more of closer to a neutral reaction but it's always on that side of love rather than the side of suffering. And that's what that long-term healing can do for you. It takes away those triggers so that once what once caused you pain no longer does. And in fact, you can even go so far as to have what once caused you pain create joy. It is up to you whether or not you are going to choose to suffer when you experience pain or choose to with an open and compassionate heart recognize all of the many things that allow you to take the path away from suffering and towards 
love and joy, understanding. Thank you guys for joining me for another video. I'm gonna leave you guys with this little clip to wrap this up because I really liked what Annika had to say here as well. Feel like it's a good little reminder. And um, yeah, I'll be back to wrap it up after that. <laughs> well, those parts are not living in the present moment. And whatever happened in the present moment that felt so threatening and painful, um, it's really just like, a, a, like an echo or like a, like a reflection, like a, almost like a metaphor um, for the event that actually was extremely painful and threatening. So the pain and the fear that comes up when, when I am triggered is not new uh, uh, pain and fear, pain, <laughs> pain and fear, pain. <laughs> um, it's not pain and fear about the present moment. It's pain and fear from the part that's stuck in the past. What a beautiful reflection. Thank you guys for joining me for another video. Make sure that you also go check out Annika's channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description. That includes my Patreon, where I have all of my guided meditations, journal exercises, spirituality 101 and 2.0 series. I have my intuitive lifestyle course and so much more. And starting at as little as $23 a month, you get access to all those things and more. And then I have two other tiers as well that have their own little special perks, as well as everything else that the Awakening tier has to offer, which is the the first $23 a month tier, which gives you all the things, all the things. If you are ready to end the cycles of suffering in your life, heal, grow, and expand your consciousness, I would love to have you. And I currently have seven spots available for one-on-one -on -one holistic health clients. So you can email me, you can sign up for my free clarity call, or if you really know you're ready, you can sign up for one of my session packages, which that commits you to a certain number of sessions and then how often we work together and what we work on is customized, personalized to you. I have my, whoa, I'm really tired today, guys. Um, and I still got a lot of the day left to go. Um, <laughs> I have my Ritualize Your Life free workshop coming up as a Zoom call if you'd like to get on on that and any of the free workshops, meditations, such things that I do, you wanna be signed up for my mailing list because that is the only way in which you can get in on that or any of those things. Um, I really don't spam people. Like I hear people say that and then they send emails even like once a week or multiple times a day. <laughs> I send at most one email a month and that's it. And sometimes I don't even do that. Only will you ever hear from me when I have something new to say and not just to remind you that I exist. So definitely go check that out. If you're into natural, green, clean living, doTERRA is your one-stop shop for getting rid of all of those synthetic chemical products in your home and replacing them with the best, purest plant-based products and plant medicine. Definitely go check that out. If you would like to sign up for my free clarity call, you can do that for a doTERRA wellness call if you'd like. We can get you all set up with a membership. If you wanna do that on your own, you can always sign up for the membership on your own, but it is fun. I love talking doTERRA and I love walking people through all of their options when it comes to doTERRA, the memberships and all of the different subscribe and save options, all the perks, all the good things. So I will say that we call it a wholesale membership. So if you do go to doTERRA and you do wanna sign up for the year membership to get all the 20% off each and every purchase every time, et cetera, it is called a wholesale membership. And I know that confuses people sometimes because people hear wholesale and they think, oh, well, I have to be a business 
to have a wholesale membership. We just call our membership at doTERRA, our yearly membership at doTERRA, a wholesale membership. So even if you are just planning to purchase for personal use, the wholesale membership is $35 if you sign up separately or we have some enrollment uh, kits including our custom enrollment kit. That's another reason why you might want to sign up for my free clarity call to get your doTERRA wellness call in because we have the free enrollment kit, custom enrollment kit, which gives you free membership uh, for a short time longer, short time longer, for a little while longer. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave you guys here. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out Annika. Don't forget to check out the links in the description, including checking out the link to check out Annika. Thank you again, love, for letting me use your clips in my video. And to everyone else, may the energies you serve serve you well. And let's keep making our way through.